I used to let the mic smoke. Now I slam it when I'm done and make sure it's broke. When I'm gone, no one gets on. Cause I won't let nobody press up and mess up the scene I set. I like to stand in a crowd and watch the people wonder, damn. But think about it, then you understand. I'm just an addict, addicted to music. Maybe it's a habit. I gotta use it. Even if it's jazz or the quiet storm. I hook a beat up, convert it into hip hop form. Write a rhyme and graffiti in every show you see me in. Deep concentration, cause I'm no comedian. Jokers are wild if you wanna be tame. I treat you like a child, then you're gonna be named. Another enemy, not even a friend of me. Cause you'll get fried in the end when you pretend to be competing. Cause I just put your mind on pause and I complete when you compare my rhyme with yours. I wake you up and as I stare in your face, you seem stunned. Remember me, the one you got your idea from. But soon you start to suffer. The tune will get rougher when you start to stutter. That's when you had enough of fighting it'll make you choke. You can't provoke, you can't cope. You should have broke because I ain't no joke. joke. Catcher. Welcome to the Stupid Show. I am your host, Brandon Irizarry, and today I got my uh, two good friends and my special guest, Will. I don't know who you are. I don't know. Wait a minute. Uh, did we? We'll go back to you in a minute. Jerry G in the house. How you doing? What's up, man? How's, How's it, it going? going? Good. Can't complain. Good. Graham Wellington is in the house. <laughs> Graham Wellington is third. Yes. How you Asshole. doing today? I haven't seen you in a long time, Graham. Yeah, I know. What's going on, man? It's been, looking it's good. It's been a while. Looking good. Like the hair. You got hair. You know, I still got it. Yeah. So uh, tell me about tell me about your uh, your, your weekend. What did you guys What did you guys do this weekend? Oh, uh, this weekend, I just got back from uh, Vegas. So I know you. Every time I see you, man, you, you, you're uh, you're doing all kinds of stuff. You know, poker usually. Poker. Uh, hmm? Oh. Huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Who is it this week? <laughs> Who is it this week? Um, he's like a celebrity, man. I see this guy on Facebook. He's taking pictures with all these, uh, all these hotties. You know, it's on the beach. Trying to open up a woman. World shoe traveler. Store. You know, just doing it. <laughs> a woman shoes though. Body shots, bottom <laughs> half only. Just, just trying to, you know, get it at all angles. Nice, nice. I love it. I love it. So, Jerry, what's going on, man? Nothing. Just got back from uh, training a little while ago. Had the girlfriend's birthday this weekend. She was, nice. She's from out of state. She was here, but it was a good weekend from most of it I can remember. Good reason. Oh, good. So, you guys had good, good Valentine's? Reason. Yeah. The girls yeah. are happy. No complaints? I'm broke. Exactly. So, it's typical it's, Valentine's Day. It, it, I don't even do anything. on. You know, I, I'm like that disgruntled person. If you look at my Facebook, I'm like, I hate on Valentine's Day. I just, I won't post anything. You know, I see everybody, you know, they, they take pictures of their flowers and their chocolates. And, you know, I, I feel like a scumbaccio because every time I see it, I'm like, I'm so against it. Because I feel like it's got to be something that, you know, Valentine's Day has got to be something that it's like every day. You know, you, you, yeah. know, you just want to have that one designated day. And, and then they, they bang you over the head. Anywhere you go, it's like yeah. three times, four times the price. Fix. And then, $30 and then, for a card, $100 for a single rose. Yeah, it's bullshit. And, and then that, they're saying that that chocolate, the price of chocolate went up. That's just a sham. So they can get you for a box of chocolate now, too. They and can, now there's chocolate anus. Do you see where I people saw are, that. You saw that. People like sitting in there mounding their, their assholes and feeding it to their girlfriends. Like, hi, eat my ass. Now, just is like, it an actual mold of, or it's just a mold of wh whose ass? Like, the, who's the guy the or the girl? That's got to be popular. I want to know who's the master, the master mold to that. It's genius. That's some, that's, like a, that's some balloon knot, right? The guy's an asshole, but whoever came up with it. Exactly. Hey, listen, let me tell you something. A anyway, you a genius can asshole. Money. That's an ingenious asshole right there. An ingenious asshole. <laughs> an ingenious asshole. Do you know if the Poland Spring guy got here yet? Nah, oh. he's on delivery right now. That's good. Poland Spring. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thanks for the uncomfortable uh, moment of silence there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. him and, like, a Fiji guy are, like, in a, like, a race to see who can deliver to some rich guy's house. Oh, nice. I said, I said, to, I said to Ronnie, one of the guys on my show, mm -hmm. I said to him that the phone lines are going to be open, so he calls my cell phone. <laughs> you got to love it. Oh, oh, no, hold on, hold on. Hey, hey Ronnie. Hey, Ronnie. Yeah, hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, listen, phone lines are open, but I gave you the number to call. You're calling my cell phone. Wait, hold on. Wait, Juan, we're having sex with a papusa right now. I got my ass hanging out, and you got to see me and Juan. I'm having sex with a papusa. Jeez. Can you hear me? Hello? I, I, I hear Hello. you. I hear you. You're live, you're live on, 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 the, on the show right now. He must now. be out in po Patchogue. And he, and he hangs up. What a cock. Was that from Patchogue? It must have been from Patchogue. So. Well... There's Ron, who can't be here today. He's one of the guys that are usually on the show, and um, 
he was like the hottest person to get in touch with. Ah, uh -huh. he's a fucking idiot. I was just <laughs> total jerk off. What an asshole. I, I called him like 50 times. I don't pick up the phone. You then, probably know him at the And then gym. he calls your cell phone. Then he calls my cell phone. You I work out lines are open. Call the I phone. don't work out. Oh. I just go there and I walk naked around the locker room with the old men. So you just came from the gym. You said you can't <laughs> dance tonight because you did legs. Yes. It was squat day. It was squat day. Everybody and their mother is doing chest, doing benching, doing half fucking reps like a bunch of idiots. And I'm doing squats. Ask the grass. You, you, you ever go, you know, when you go to the gym, you have the guys laying down and he'll, he'll go onto the bench <clears> and he'll bring it like this, this amount and he goes like that really fast. Like, what is that? What is that? It's an air press. It's probably on crack. You still hit, you still hitting the gym? You know, I hit a lot of stuff. You still working out? A little bit. You like you like the most interesting like the you know, like, what's that the uh, I'm the, the, to the, that the job. dos X a guy whatever. I'm trying, you know, I'm trying to get in there. Doing good, man. Look at you. You know, <laughs> very elusive though. Oh, the some say. Yeah, you know. Some say he walks on water. Rumor has it. Rumor has it. So. Um, you know, I, I was going to the gym. Um, now I just make fat look good. I was going the, like two. That is the new skinny. Uh, uh, let me tell you what happened to me. There's a story behind this. Uh oh. There's always a story, but this is my. This is a good story. That happened, to Seaford. I went to. Uh, <laughs> I went to the. Um, I was working out. I go to the gym and I'm um, doing um, on that Smith machine. I'm doing uh, inc uh, incline bench. You fucking kidding me? So. That's forbidden. That's well, like Planet Fitness and. Just like you don't go to a Smith machine, you go on the actual squat rack. Tell me, well, you didn't no, use no, th th that's yeah. what it is. The I mean, th is that what it is? That, that machine has like you could. Dude, this guy. That, that's the Smith. Yeah, yeah. no, it's, the squat rack is just a bar. It's not held on the handles. There's no pads. Okay, so I was by myself, mm -hmm. working out by myself. So I use that machine that you can click on. That's the Smith machine. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm doing incline, and I went a little too heavy, uh -oh. and I overextended. Uh -oh. So I didn't know that I injured myself at this point. Because you know, it's like, you know, like the adrenaline's going, like the guy that gets shot, you're still running like this, like, oh, then you find out afterwards, like, it's like, oh, there's my heart. And then you die, you yeah. know? But that's, I, I'm working out. I just dropped my sound. You got to go somehow. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. Oh, no. I'm working out, and, uh, you know, I'm going, I'm going heavy, and I went a little too far and a little too heavy, and Ooh. I pulled a muscle, like, in the sternum area. Ah. Okay. I leave the gym. I finish off. Did my bench pressing. I did my, my. Uh, I did. Uh, what did I do that day? I, did, I think I did triceps. And then I, I, I always do sit ups. So I did some sit ups. Mm -hmm. I get in my car, and it, I'm starting to calm down. And that's when I start to realize that I'm hurt because I feel it. And now I can't breathe. I can't. Oh, take nobody like a knows full... that the hurt until like 20 minutes later when the adrenaline rush is gone. Yeah, I couldn't take a full breath. I couldn't expand my lungs, and I felt like I <clears> couldn't breathe. Oh, okay. Hold on. We have a call from El Salvador coming. See, in. is that my ex-wife? It might be. I, I know who this is. Hold on. Uh oh. Hello. Yeah, this Brandon. This is the Stupid Show, and this is Brandon. How you doing? Who's this? This is me. It's Ronnie B. I'm in El Salvador. Hey, Ronnie. What's going on, my brother? I'm with I'm with Juan, the the, the great Juan from last week. Oh, nice. And what are you guys doing? Right now, we're 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 we're, we're having sex with a papusa. Oh yeah. A papusa. Yes. <laughs> Has he that? Me up, yes, he hooked me up with a friend. She looks like a rhinoceros with cheese. Can you, can you bring her over here to the show? That would be great. The yes, only I thing is see. the flight. I don't know how long the flight is. I'm, I'm in El Salvador, so I don't know how long the flight oh, he will take. Does he have a donkey? C can you have your mother drive you? <laughs> oh, that would be great. You mean a Beetlejuice's wife with the wig on? Oh, man, she looks like a strike sand with freckles. Ha! <laughs> so... Um, yes. I would. I wish. It, I wish you were here on the show I don't tonight. Think that would have be been great, than that. I, I want to be it, but Juan, he drives like the Flintstones. I mean, you had to see this guy. He had, he had his legs out, and he's, he's wobbling. It's cut. I don't even know what these mobiles in El Salvador and like American mobiles. The United States of American mobiles are much better than the El Salvadorian mobiles. Let me tell you that much. So here we are. You got to see it. It kind of look like the set. The setting looks like the book born on the Fourth of July here. You have to see these people. This guy is drooling. I mean, it just. It's. It's. I'm telling you right now. It's. It's a totally different world down here. But I got the great one. So Juan said he's going to come back in March, and he's going to be on the show. So, I mean, we're just having a great time with these papooses and this chalupa, and uh, we're having a great time. I, got, I just, you know, we wanted to call and let you know what was going on down here. Awesome. I love it, Ron. Thanks for the call. Um, well, listen, beautiful. Now, now that I'm hearing your voice on the phone, um, it's <laughs> making me want to run the clip for the, uh, for the two-minute of prayers. <laughs> 
Yes, please. Put the two-minute prayer and tell the TV audience of the earth, you know, I love them. We got more prayers ahead and everything. Yes. <laughs> all right, so uh, just wanted to call him and let everybody know I love them all. Good and we'll be back in New York, uh, that we're in El Salvador for a little bit, but we'll be back in New York to be back on television. So just tell the TV audience I love them all. We'll be back in America soon. All right, okay, say, say that say right. it one more time because we, we didn't hear you the first 50 times you said it. Listen, uh, Ron. Yeah. Um, Real quick, can you can you do the chant? Can you do the 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 uh, the, the uh, yes. let's go. Okay, ready. All right, thanks, my brother. You're welcome, brother. I'll uh, save us some papusa. Yeah, save us yeah. some papusas. All right. Who is that? Who is that? It's 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 that's uh. Jerry G. Th that's, it's me, Jerry G. It's Jerry G in the house. And Jerry G, what's up, baby? How you doing, Jerry G? Good. How's it going? Just hungry for papusa now. Look what you done. Ask Jerry G, who's the one who texts me? Because I have a, I don't know if it's a behind, if it's a chocha, or, or a kooka too. I don't know what it is, but somebody texts me a picture of something, and on the behind it says the stupid show. Does anybody know who did it? Because it's 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 hilarious. I don't uh, know what it is. Uh, our, show, our show must be taking off so well that people are getting tramp stamps of the stupid show on their lower back. That, that's what's that's, happening, Ron. And there's a piece of doo-doo. There's a piece of doo-doo coming out of his culo. I, well, I that was know. probably because <laughs> the original name of the show was The Shit Show. So they, the they, show. they, they blended that's both the in that show. photo. I, that's the only thing I could think of. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, Brandon, I just, I just want to talk to those plums. Uh, hold Did on. We're, we're having a silent moment right now. Did he just say plums? Thanks, Ron, for killing the show. All right, <laughs> let's go to uh, let's go to the two minute of prayer uh, video if we can, real quick. This is Ronnie B. With all your spirituality and all your religion in two minutes. There's a story in the Bible named Balaam. He wasn't good. He wanted to hurt and kill the Israelites, so he used to ride an ass, and on his ass, the ass spoke. Praise the Lord! It kind of reminds me of back in 1990 in March when I got hit in the head with a tree and the surgeon got mad at me because he says to me, why don't you clean your nose? I said, you know, I'm sitting there on Demerol, clean my nose. Thank God I got my nose on. God healed me. Look, my nose is back together again. So the ass was walking with Balaam and all of a sudden the ass saw the angel of God. And the angel of God said, you cannot curse these chosen people, the Israelites. I tell you, I would love to have my church temple back. I mean, I remember I used to live in Wantua. And in Wantua, boy, I could have people coming over, homeless, helpless, and crippled. We, and we could all talk about the Lord. We'd get on our knees and pray. Oh, I would have loved that so dearly. So now, Balaam didn't know what was going on. He hits the ass. And all of a sudden, the ass says to him, he spoke. He says, I've always been good to you, Master. Why are you hitting me? I've always been good to you, Master. Why are you hitting me? Now, right there, that's a shock. Why is the animal speaking? Because God could do anything. So finally, the angel of God stood there and said, I will spare your ass, but he would have killed Balaam. Balaam can't hurt the Israelites. But look at me now. Praise Jesus. I mean, in the future, I'm going to have a nice church temple. God's going to help me. And guess what? My nose is together. Baruch Thank God for some of these beauty salons, because guess what? Now I could put crane on my head. I mean, look, now it looks like real hair. I used to walk around, I had a little bald spot. I remember one time I went on a date with a woman. She said she liked me for me. I used to wear a baseball cap. So all of a sudden she says to me, I like you for you. So she says, please take off the baseball cap. I take off the baseball cap. She sees the bald spot. I haven't talked to her since. I haven't talked to her since. <laughs> God is good. Jehovah Yahweh Elohim. I love the Lord very dearly. I love the Lord very dearly. And I know the blessings are coming in the future. But I'm still going to have my crayon. <clears throat> Welcome back to the stupid show. That was Ron's two minute of prayers. I hope you guys feel invoked with the spirit like I do. How do you guys feel? You guys feel feeling the uh, spirituality right there? It touched me. Yeah, I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm slain with. I, I'm ready to start talking in tongues. I feel like I'm in Atlantic City right now. Feels like, I feel like in Atlantic you're in Atlantic City, City, right, City right, now. right now. Are you feeling lucky? <laughs> um, we're gonna we're gonna go to a commercial. Okay, we come back from the commercial. I got another guest we're gonna bring on to the show. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, we'll talk about uh, some stuff that happened, you know, over the weekend with you guys with uh, Valentine's Day. And we'll get into some more stuff. Awesome. Right? So let's go to a commercial and we'll be back soon. Robert Brevar. I'm here for Multimedicine in Westbury, New York. We're located at 1065 Old Country Road, Suite 214. Been here for about 15 years. The practice has medical doctors, physical therapists, chiropractors, acupuncturists. We also do pain management and we have orthopedists on staff. Here at Advanced Multimedicine Rehabilitation, we've got physical therapists on staff who treat an array of conditions from neck pain to back pain, shoulder pain. We treat carpal tunnel. We treat a lot of car accident patients, slip and falls. We treat patients with knee injuries, with ankle injuries. We have state-of-the-art equipment. We've been here for over 15 years. We do a vast array of diagnostic testing from x-rays to EMGs. What is an EMG? It's a diagnostic test that allows a doctor to determine where the pinched nerve is. Cora is a physical therapist at Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. She's working on Stephanie, who was involved recently in an automobile accident. Stephanie has tight thoracic and cervical musculature, and Cora is doing some myofascial release work and some therapeutic stretching doing it to help her with her pain. Vicki is also a patient here at Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. Vicki is now working her leg muscles, specifically her quadricep muscles, trying to strengthen them after an injury she sustained. Find yourself in need of any type of physical therapy. Please don't hesitate to call Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. Located in Westbury, New York, in Suite 214. Phone number is 516-334-7000. Or find us on our website at advancedmultimedicine.com. Welcome back to the Stupid Show. I am your host, Brandon Urizari, <laughs> and uh, we're back with our guys. We got uh, Jerry G, and I got Graham Wellington, the third, and Cosuelo just uh, just just got here. Yes, hi everybody. Thanks for uh, stopping by. Thank Heard you. Heard you got a little lost on your way here. A little lost is an understatement. Like, where, like, where'd you go? I think you were like. It all took the way me. Out it east. actually. Um, it was and taking. You live around the block. I well, I don't live around the block, but I live pretty close. And, uh, yeah, when I just started driving, I was like, well, it must be this way if this is where it's taking me. So I just Navigation went going, 
And then um, I, like, decided to skip a little bit ahead. I was like, this can't be right. You know, it's too far. And the, the little red dot in my GPS was in the <sighs> ocean. And I was like, well, <laughs> I don't think that that's where they're shooting. I mean, the show's out there, but not that out there. Right. So I was like, I mean, I'm not dressed for to swim to the studio, so. That's too funny. Yeah. Well, I, you started getting frustrated. I saw in the text, you're like, the fuck? Well, I had an $11,000 diamond stolen from me the other day, oh, so I'm a little under the weather. I'm sorry. It's all right. Still haven't, no, no, you have no idea where that is. Did you call and maybe, um, like I said, with the, with the detectives, they can probably search that out and see if somebody you know, was trying to sell it? Um, yeah, I have to check that. That's I have terrible. to check that. I didn't so get sorry. a chance to call them today. You know what? But that's how lost I am sometimes, you know? So I hear you. things so, are slipping. Consuelo is a professional dancer. Yeah. Not like uh, right away. He's, uh, I, the guys are like ready, like, oh, okay, dancer. No, she's she does uh, modern limber, limbic. Yes, nice. modern limbic. Um, you know, all all uh, traditional. You know, like she does like the the uh, tap dance, ballet, uh, hip hop, everything. She does it all. Very nice. The untraditional, the traditional, everything, and and et cetera. What about you, cetera. Graham? What kind of dancing do you do? Oh, sober or drunk? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it depends. You know. I've seen the Graham Wellington uh, dance moves. Oh, shit. It's like the Charleston almost. <laughs> it's a two-step. The two-step. Do you do the ants in your pants? Mm, no. <laughs> What's the ants in the pants? What is that? The ants in the pants? Can you show us? Yeah. I, show well, us the ants in the pants. My mic isn't hooked. Don't worry but, about it. Hold on to it. <laughs> but I think it's like <laughs> something like, like, something like, that. I like that. <laughs> or just like just pretending to go along with the theme. It's like, okay, I look like everybody else here. Yeah, you know, I, don't, I can't walk right now. Why? I just had surgery on my ass. Oh, you did? Nice. From all the damage. <laughs> no, no. It was for, in from a, all uh, the years of abuse. You, you got, got a stupid show, Tramp Tattoo, I was in a you? boating accident down in uh, Puerto Rico last That's month. That's what they're calling it now? What happened? Boating accident? <laughs> Voting at, ah. ah, see, you gotta, you gotta like stay up to all you know, those, the, like these all the all like the like, inside names for it. racing in Mexico, boating accident. boating accident. We know what that is. <laughs> um, you know, we hit a coral reef. Well, a couple of rough ones, yeah. And I, you know, had to swim a few miles. Wow, that's not that's the Puerto Rican tough mudder. It's it's just a culturally different than ours. A Puerto Rican <laughs> tough mudder. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, whatever you want to call it. But I know Jerry. But, uh, he, you do he, know he, me. He wants to take the focus off him. Because right uh, we have a camera right on him as he's speaking right now. So he's probably like, all right, I'm Camera and all of us. Yeah. All right. So Jerry is, he, you can do a lot of different voices. Mm -hmm. You know, you could do, uh, I heard you can do a good Pee Wee Herman. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what, what, other, what other voices? Like, what are the ones that, that you just really can get into that you feel... What I've, what I've gotten into recently was in the house. We, we believe that the house, my dad and my sister, like they, years ago they said it was haunted. Like one night they woke up and like eggs were cooking. I wasn't there at the time. So when I did move in um, not too long ago, we Turn found out. this doll. Your house is haunted. Yep. And eggs were cooking. Eggs were cooking. So you have, you, you're, you have like a chef haunting right now. Exactly. I wish I would have been there. your advantage. I would have eaten the eggs with the ghost. You, you could use that to your advantage. You can have breakfast ready in the exactly. morning. Exactly. There's no better feeling than that. So you wake up in the morning and half problem. asleep. No one wants to cook. Oh, that's great. All right, so go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, so one day, like me and my sister, we found this little tiny like doll, and we named it Eleanor. And I had a few friends that came over one day. They saw the doll. One of the girls pretty much almost shit herself looking at it. So in my head, I'm like, what would this doll sound like? So started like Instagram, Snapchat, making videos of the doll like appearing and disappearing paranormal activity style. And the doll was like, Of hell? And I would just, and you're like, yeah! Yes. That, is, that is very creepy. So imagine you're in a hallway and this little dot staring at you and you're Hi there. Just like, now, this doll, you said it's, it appeared like, like the elf on the shelf, like all over your house. Elf on the, exactly. Now, is there somebody in the house playing games and putting it around, or this is like. No one knows. After the That's whole creepy. eggs thing, you just don't know anymore. And, and you're in, in that area where you are. That's where the Amityville Horror House came from. And yeah, we're about two minutes um, north of the Amityville Horror House. So, God only knows if like, something's going on like a channel along like that or road. They or they moved. Yeah, they, everyone's maybe, moved maybe and they've re redone the house. Maybe it's your house. Ah, who knows? 
That's that's scary. Doesn't bother me. I'd welcome it. It's a big big family over there. It is. So you missed out, but we were talking about um, Valentine's Day. What did you do for Valentine's Day? I went to Port Jefferson. Nice. And how was that? What'd you do? I went there for an event, but it was canceled because it oh, got snowed up. Oh wow! Did I just set my own self up for that? But it was well. It's a nice event. It might get rescheduled, and it was for the Dance Foundation. It was at uh, Danfords, right in Port Jefferson, mm -hmm. and the Dance Foundation is for recovering addicts. And <coughs> we're looking nice. forward to uh, Doris Story. Dory Scott. Yeah, rescheduling yes. the event so that we could go have some fun and. It was an event that I, um, that I was feeling. I, I, I own an events company, um, www.bzarieevents.com. Nice little quick plug. Um, <laughs> and uh, I was helping out uh, one of my friends slash client on an event. And um, I also I work with Consuelo. And she um, I was going to incorporate her to do dance at this particular event. And uh, because of this supposed storm that we're supposed to have, they, oh, yeah. they, they said that Suffolk County was in, um, it was like this big uh, um, lockdown because of the storm. So mm -hmm. the, the event wound up not happening. I didn't know about it. She got dressed in costume and drove over there. Because it's like, this, it's the only thing that it was, it was cold and windy. But there was no, it was like really nothing. nothing. Yeah. What kind of costume? Right. Oh, by costume, he means makeup. <laughs> oh, oh. That's what she, she, she said she was in costume. No, no, I was in costume, and I will be when they reschedule the event. Nice. Yeah. Oh. So, uh, we got another call. Hold on, let's go to the phones. Uh-oh. Is that Chris? I didn't know about it. How you doing? This is Brandon with The Stupid Show. Who's this? Hey, Brandon, DJ Johnny P. What are you doing? What's up, Johnny? Uh -oh. What's going on, my brother? Hey. I'm watching, I'm watching The Stupid Show. <laughs> you, you're watching it right now? Yeah, yeah, I'm getting a kick out of this guy. He looks like a bouncer on the end of the couch. And he's got a ghost that makes freaking eggs. This guy's out of his mind. <laughs> he's, got, yeah, he's got a ghost. The best thing a bouncer egg. could have is a ghost that makes you breakfast. This guy, they're like muscles marinara, these you, guys. You don't even need a wife. You have a ghost that cooks for you. Uh, 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 oh, I'm, I'm watching too much TV, so I, I'm watching you on the thing, so I'm confused on there. I'm going to walk away from the screen. What's the guy's name on the end? He's built like, uh, built like a bouncer over there. Jerry G. That, that's Jerry G. Jerry G. How you doing? Listen, man. How you doing? If you got a ghost in the house that's making eggs, I'm going to come over there, and I'm going to put my order in, and I'm going to ask for a lasagna, a uh, loaf of Italian bread. I mean, that's a good ghost to have, man. There's nothing wrong with that ghost. Not at all. I, I, need, oh. I, need a, I need a ghost to haunt my house that does laundry. Do we have a... <laughs> a can I get a haunted <laughs> laundry <laughs> ghost, please? It's mother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> what with that one? Like, what the hell? I don't, I don't, I'll take the eggs too, but if I can get a laundry ghost, I'll be very happy. You can't even get the living to do drunk laundry. Good luck getting the ghost to do oh, it. Oh, no, forget it. No. It's crazy. <laughs> I like the uh, voices. The guy's got good voices. What else does he do, man? I like oh, his worse voices. if it starts dressing Let me tell you something, clothes. John. If you oh fell down, God. if you fell down not. my basement steps, you would break <laughs> your fall on the laundry. <laughs> That's bad, huh? What, what other voices do you have? What, what else you got? Uh, you know Gollum from uh, Lord of the Rings? Sure. Uh oh, we got we got we got a bunch of calls coming in. Hold, hold on one second. Hold on. Nice. S stand by, John. Get back to that. Hello. Yeah, is this the stupid show? This is the stupid show. Who, who's calling? This is Vincent. How you doing, Vincent? I want to talk to the the big guy with the muscles at the end of the couch there. How right. you doing? That's Jerry G. He's how, he's how on right you, now. Go ahead. How, how hey, come you always answer that? Who do you think you are? Some kind of <laughs> yeah, he's guy got with like his bigger guns than me. Huh? You think you're some kind of a tough guy with those muscles popping out of the shirt over there? Come to the gym and we'll see. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, so what is exactly you do for a living? You're a bouncer? Nah, actually, that's not a bad idea. No, I do uh, personal training and competitive powerlifting. Ooh. Really? I, I don't think you could lift uh, a box of Cheerios. Oh, you can go on YouTube and look up Jerry G and you'll see me throwing around 500-pound oh, okay. deadlifts so and like, screaming at like the bar. you tight shirts and let everybody look at your muscles. You're that kind of guy, right? <laughs> Sure, it's not tight. I'm just fat. No, he shops at BB Gap. That's all. <laughs> the kids section. Everything's half off. <laughs> so what do you what do you train? Like midgets? Mid midgets, leprechauns. You know the little guys that every time they run through the grass and their balls get tickled, right. they laugh their ass off. Do we do we somewhere in such tight shirts? So you know what I'm saying? It's getting a little out of hand. You got you got to see his thong. Oh, the banana got hammock. Thong? You got, you, got, you, got the, you got the thong on? You got the, I don't have he's it. He's got the Borat banana. The Borat one, yes. There you go. 
there you go. All right, so listen, you know what? You got your personality decent, but you know, put on some baggy clothes. We don't need to see this muscles all the time. I know, it's, it's a little too much. It's a little obnoxious. It's too much. I agree. I'm sorry. Yeah, he's got, I mean, you're a personal trainer. We get that. It's one thing, but we don't have to see it all the time. You, you, okay, you're in the gym, you Drinking your protein shakes, blah, blah, blah. I mean, we get it. I know, I'm trying to hide my, no, my, my fat ass with, with, the, milk. with the suit jacket and a button-up shirt, and he's giving me a complex over here. I feel like <laughs> shit about myself. I'll wear my singlet next cry. time. Everybody, want, everybody wants to work out and look good. I, I, was, I just want to be fat and lay on the couch. Planet exactly. Fitness is calling your name. There you go. They got free right. pizza night. All right, th thanks for the call, my brother. Thank you. Bye-bye. Right, bye. <laughs> Johnny, you still there? I'm still listening, man. What's going on, John? <laughs> all right, so so we we left off. He was he does all the voices. He has a uh, he has a, a chef uh, ghost that haunts his house that makes eggs. I mean, you, you can't make this stuff up. This is this is amazing. It's, that's why I don't. That's why when you invited me to the show, I can't come on the show. I can't compete with such talent. I mean, this is <laughs> man, that's talent that I can't compete with. Let me say hello to my friend Consuela there. I recognize her from uh, dancing. Hi, Consuela. How are you? Uh, hey. How are nice you? To see you on TV. You look just nice on TV as you do in person. Uh, the other gentleman, I don't know who you are, but I'll say hello to you too out of respect. Uh, you got to be a good guy if you're there with Brandon. <laughs> yeah, so, that's uh, a... the, the show looks a lot of fun. I like the voices the other guy's doing. And the guy who called in, who's starting to hate on, the, on, on Jerry, that's not cool, man. The guy's wearing a shirt. He's a muscle bound guy. He's strong. Leave him alone, man. You know, that's I can't part of the lifestyle. Got to call in and get their opinion on, on what he's wearing, man. The guy looks good. No, he, does, he, he does. He does look man. good. He's a, he's a triple X guy in, in a in a medium shirt. He's all right. <laughs> what? Do your thing, man. Do your thing. Nothing right. wrong with that, brother, man. John, uh, John, we cool. we definitely got to get you up here. He's gonna do a couple of voices for us. I'm gonna listen up. I'm gonna listen. I'll let you do your thing. I just want to say hello. And uh, I'm watching the show. I want to let you know that you got a few viewers out there, and I'm one of them, and I'm watching, and and I, I'm interested. I want to hear more voices. John, do your thing, man. Th thanks okay. for the thanks man, for the you call. You shall. Thanks for calling. I'll talk to you guys soon. All right. I got voices too, you know. You got in your head, or you could do. Them? No, it's. I mean, obviously not in my head. It's my dog. <laughs> Whoa! Let's hear this. Yeah, this well. is getting creepy. creepy. <laughs> I like it. Well, but real quick, that was my friend John John P John Piazza. You met him. He was the MC from from that I, the party. I, Super talented comedian. Mm -hmm. um, from which party? From amazing personality. He's DJ MC. From Minneola. From, uh, from the, uh, that's Sweet 16. Sweet oh, 16. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Amazing guy. Uh -huh. so that's John P. I remember that show. All right, so go ahead. Voices in your head or voices from your dog? What, what do we got? Uh, I got voices inside of my head. Good song. And the other ones oh, come from my see, dog. Kind of, kind of show. <laughs> we do. Singing, working out, Graham Wellington. Boat races, <laughs> you know. Boat races. Yeah. Boat races. What, what is that? Uh, Gambler. Coral. No. That's coral nice. damage. You got some. You got some internal coral damage that you had fixed. You know. When Hope he, you switched when he to came, Geico. When he, when he came in earlier, do, do you know like that sound? It's not. It's not like you fought. That's good. It, it's like that sound. It's like the void in between your ass and and like the middle of your of your body, and it just <clears> goes. <throat> oh, the road warrior queef. Yeah. Now what is that? Uh, there's no explanation. That's for from it. beans. That's it's, from it's beans. Like, beans. It's like beans. That's from Chipotle. Yes, sir. <laughs> but I didn't know what the hell it was. And it was like moaning. And I'm like, what is that? Dude, I heard it. I, I hold the and it was his ass. But it's not it his ass. It wasn't my ass. No, it's not it your ass. So you I got a ghost that cooked eggs and that was freaking stomach. me out. The loudest stomach, stomach rumble. Yeah. No, but let me tell you something. That happens it's at the most inappropriate noise, time. Huh? I, you'd be sitting quiet like on the couch and you're talking to somebody. All of a sudden your ass just goes. Well, you're at a funeral home too. Yeah, I mean, they can't, and you can't stop it. You can't adjust yourself to stop it. You can't do nothing. It just, that's it. And everybody knows what it is because it's happened to everybody. But when you hear it, you just, like, make believe, like, it didn't even happen. My it's body like, uh, is yeah, like a right. slide trombone sometimes, I swear, to G. Girls wait a minute, real. wait, I just oh, missed all that. What? No, like, my body is literally like a slide trombone. Oh, God. Like, I get those noises, like, in... In my ass, in my hips, in my chest, like I love it. Yeah, like you know, it happens, and they're all you know, it's it's they're finely tuned, so they change pitch and everything. We, we yeah. were debating if we were gonna mic him in the beginning of the show. We were gonna mic his he, asshole. Yeah, because it was making a lot of noise. So we're like, we gotta pick this up. This yeah. is great for the show. I think it's in the wrong spot over here. Yeah, go. Let's go. I'm gonna go back. I don't want to let you off the hook with this. I want voices. I want to hear. 
I want to hear some of the... Uh, you know, um, Gollum from Lord of the Rings? Gollum, that creepy... I, I look like that if I don't tan. Oh, my God. I get very Gollum-like. I was like, do you go around, like, hunched over that stupid fat hobbit says, they're still not pleasant! Ah! Do you do that? I love that. <laughs> what else you got? Um, I can't do P.B. Herman's voice, but I can do his laugh. <laughs> that's a good laugh. That's God only knows what he's doing now. That's really good. What you have any? Who else has voices? Is he seeing any movies? Huh? Is he seeing any movies? Um, we've gone on a few dates, yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We are alum from the same institution. <laughs> um, let's go to a quick commercial break. When we come back, I want to go over um, some stuff that, that I saw um, online that I thought was pretty funny. Oh, I also yeah. made a clip about it so we could talk about that stuff. I know, I know everybody here is probably, it probably has their own favorites. And we're going to do a. Um, we come back after the commercial. I did a, a, a YouTube. I take, took all the videos off of YouTube, all the stuff that I considered to be funny, and I made a um, like one long continuous video of all the different fails of all like the really bad. Oh, it's unlimited. Um, like uh, movie clips. I made mm -hmm. one nice clip of it of the stuff. Like I said, it's my my taste, but we'll check it out when we come back. Let's go to a commercial and we come back. We'll we'll uh, check out some of our clips and talk uh, talk more with our guests. See you soon. Stretching under sedation or manipulation under anesthesia is a very gentle, very precise procedure to very slowly release any scar tissue that is formed as a result of a traumatic injury. Many people ask, how does this work? Will I get hurt? Will you stretch me too far? We only stretch the body part to its normal range of motion. After completing the post-MUA rehabilitation program, it's very common that our patients say to us, hey, I can play ball with my kid again. Hey, I can bowl again. Hey, I can enjoy hiking again. This is what makes it rewarding to us as practitioners. including vinyl chain link and aluminum offers a custom powder coated system that prevents rust throughout the life of the fence. We carry fence tools to the trade. We even stock wood, rail, and glass hardware as well. Shannon Gates has our very own patented locking system. The next time you need fencing of any sort, both commercial and private, give Shannon Gates a call at 631-392-4330. You can also visit our website at shannonbeatsinc.com.
appreciate the Welcome back to the Stupid Show. I'm your host, Brandon, and uh, we're going to come back to our special guest, Graham Wellington, Consuelo, and we hey. got Jerry G, Muscles Marinara in the house. It's <laughs> um, good protein, Brad. Before we went to the commercial, uh, I was talking about how I, I wanted to, um, you know, go over some of the stuff like with those funny YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. I go on YouTube, I just put a search in, and I come up with all kinds of crazy shit. And then next, you know, it's four o'clock in the morning. It's like, oh shit, the sun's about to rise soon. So much funny stuff on there, and you could just go on and on and on. Um, so what I did was I I have like my friends and I we go back and forth, and we'll just send each other like uh, YouTube links of something that's really funny. And some of the stuff that we find funny is um, I like the Asian uh, dance videos. I think they're hysterical. The music videos, the Asian music videos are hysterical because it's bad dancing. It's like, meow, 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 like high pitched music. And like, there's you don't no ass to shake either. Oh, there's no way. There's the no ass. Ass left the building. There's no, you're not going to find any twerking on an Asian video, I'll tell you Never. that. Never. And, and it's, it's really bad dance moves. Um, and then, then I go to like, to, then I go on the other side and I look at like all the Indian fighting videos. Oh, Because no. they really, I mean, it, they're, they're real serious with their, with their uh, fight scenes. And it's so crazy, the, the, the scenes that they have. It's hysterical. So I go, you know, I have clips of all those different things. Anything particular that you guys have that, that you say it's like your, the one video that you, that you just, you always think about when you think about like a funny YouTube <laughs> video. Hmm. I wish I had that music playing. Do, 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 one do, video do, do, I probably watched more than anything on YouTube, the angry cat guy. It's the video of the guy that has like, he has like Tourette's and he's just screaming at his cat. Like the cat's just sitting like randomly on his door. He's like, oh, you look, you're so cute. Get the fuck down! Just like completely breaks out and all the cats like running. You see their eyes bug out of the video. And, and they they're just, just terrified for their life. Take off. And he's like, I, I will rape you! And just like, he's screaming the shit in the house. I'm like, what the fuck are the neighbors thinking? And the cats but, just like take off and he they just scares the shit out of them on like, every clip. It's like three to five minutes and he's screaming at the cats and everything. Sorry for any cat lovers. But just right. something's up with the guy's head. <laughs> I, I like cats. It's just yeah. that um, I, I just, I'm so allergic to them at this point that if I'm in a house, as long as the cat doesn't rub on me, I'm good for like a good half hour. And then after that, it's like I got to rip my contacts out. My eyes are killing me. I have to take a Zyrtec. I can't breathe. Like you can literally kill me with a cat. Oh, you can take man. me out with a cat. Probably carjack me with a cat. <laughs> Any good videos for you? Like, I, you, know, you I'm think thinking. Um, no, uh, 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 Wellington. Wellington. Um, probably just. <laughs> I feel like I'm putting everybody on the spot. This is probably know? just the, you know uh, funny animal videos. This is one of a dog. I think it's a pit bull that uh, can say yes or no. Oh yeah, the the dog like, that talks. There was a husky that did that. Well, the one, goat videos. Oh, the screaming oh, goat. Screaming the goat. one that's like. <laughs> I like love that, that one. They use that in the... Uh, Very stars in them. Whole place just echoed from that. Yeah, that's all right. My ears are ringing. <laughs> the Taylor Swift one. They, they work oh, they at got the her gym. bad. All right, so we're going to run. I want to run my my video. We can watch this together. We can check this out. That's but, it. Um, I have a, a YouTube video. It's called Fails. These are fails. all of my personal favorite fails off of YouTube. And I think it's pretty funny. 13 minutes long. Let's check it out. That's it. This is one of my favorite acting fails for the longest death in the movie. I think on top of it all, he shoots himself in the foot. Watch him as he falls on the bed. At the end, he looks as if like 
did I ace it? When I saw this next video, I thought I was watching a stroke live on TV. Very, very, very heavy, uh, heavy vertation tonight. We had a very Darrison fight. Let's go hit Terrace Chase and let's put the head the pet. This next video needs no explanation. Enjoy. Yeah? Come on, I have an ongeluk. I'm. Now that's what I call an explosive interview. I saw this live on TV. Ow, 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 ow. I still can't understand to this day why people whisk throttle. Just, just let go of the throttle. Why do they do this? Here's another example of whiskey throttle. She just holds the throttle down the entire time. Just let go of it and everything will stop. Look, she's riding up the quad. Her reaction at the end is hysterical. She just breaks down and cries. This guy was totally unprepared for what was going to happen to him next. Because he does an absolute front flip. Bam! Right on his ass. We refer to someone as yellow. We consider them to be what? Chinese? Not Chinese. Over to Jerry and Murray. No. Yes, Jerry. Um, cowardly. Cowardly is correct. Jerry's over the what good is a fail video without the ultimate fail haircut? The mullet. This midget looks like he was breaking boards with his head. I gotta say, it's 2015, and to this day, I still see mullets out in the street. Unbelievable. Well, I hope you enjoyed the mullets. Next up on the list are two pay fails. Check out this reporter as he tries to speak and his hair flips over. Pretty funny. Why this is such a big deal, Michael? Well, Larry, it's a big deal because for the first time anywhere in America on August the 3rd, Missouri voters are going to have an opportunity to vote whether or not they want to opt out of the new federal health care reform laws. 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 This next guy doesn't even acknowledge that his hair slips off of his head. Keeps nice and cool through the entire time while he stands there behind his hairpiece on the floor. This next toupee is so bad that it should come with a chin strap. Look how it's just placed on top of his head like a hat. These are some of my favorite picks for worst fight scene ever. These are the worst fight scenes you will ever see. And these are my favorites so far. So you can still see, but your right arm's crippled. You're still a goner. doing? Rambo's got nothing on this guy. He's sewing his arm back together with his own tendons. It's a damn miracle. Ricky, you're all right. Oscar, don't do this to yourself. We'll die together. All right, you got a lot of guts, Oscar. If I don't kill you, you won't quit, will you? If you haven't seen this clip, 
you are probably living underneath one of the rocks from this horrific, terrible fight scene of all time. Does not get any worse than this. What the hell? I'm out of here. Uh, take me uh, out of costume. Uh, we finish? Now this guy is the Indian version of Steven Seagal and Bruce Lee. Check him out. This guy is so badass, he doesn't even have to touch you with his fist to knock you out. Look at that. No contact. Punch in the face. I don't know what else to say about this next guy. I think he's like a superhuman Indian. He causes these guys to flip their jeep then he beats up every single one of them, flipping them in the air like rag dolls. And the ending is the best. He flips and tosses a 200 pound guy by his ear. What? You think you're gonna outrun Super Hindi? Ha <laughs> ha! Right next to you. Look at my mustache. This guy goes into a complete spiral with a smack. Now you're really in trouble. You made me have to chase you?
Let's go, buddy. You and your friends are in trouble now. Wait until you see what this guy does. This has to be one of the most humiliating endings to a fight scene I've ever seen, ever. A lot of good fail fight movies come out of India. Now this guy gives him all the strap. It doesn't get any more crazier than this. This is a shocking fail. Come on, guy, really? And No end. Hmm. Brandy. Welcome back to the stupid show. That was uh, just some of the clips that I think are funny. Uh, there's there's a ton more, but um, you know, I, it would be here. The whole show would be just funny clips. I mean, if we did it that way. Mm -hmm. So uh, you know, every week I want to do a um, a funny uh, YouTube video clip uh, montage, and what we'll do is. Um, you know, if you have any call-ins, you want to do call-ins, you want to uh, message us, you know, you want to get in touch with us and, and give us your favorites, and we'll get them up on there too. If you have any that you created that you want to get up on the show that, that, uh, that you know, we all think is funny, we'll, we'll put it on there as well. Um, so what would you guys think of the, uh, my montage? Not bad, right? I like. Yeah. I thought it was funny. funny. Yeah. I made, that, I made that real quick, actually. I was like, I was just, you know, telling you guys, I was laying in bed, had my laptop on, you know, on my uh, stomach, and the way I had my pillows propped, I was just saying, my ass literally fell asleep, and it was the weirdest feeling. I mean, that's like a part of the body, like your foot or your leg will fall asleep. My literal, like, ass region fell asleep. You can't even and sit I, up when that happens. No, almost, I feel like I was going to have a panic attack. Where you go <laughs> it was like a weird feeling. It's like I can move my arms and my legs, but, like, the torso is just not going anywhere. Yeah. No, th that's how you know you've been on the bowl for too long, when your ass and your legs fall asleep, right? You, you ever fall asleep on the bowl? Yeah, you ever sit on the bowl for that long that, like, your, your legs literally fall asleep, and you're like, oh, man, you can't even get off? <laughs> I haven't hit that problem yet. I'm the only one? Come on, guys, really? You know. You get to throw me under the bus like that? At my old job, for like Consuela, the first hour, I, I would get there. I would just sit on the toilet. Consuela, come on. Your legs full of sleep? Yeah, no. I've, I actually, one time, um, this was like years ago, yes. I, I, oh. you know, I woke up to the alarm and I was so tired. So I tried to do like a yoga pose. So I went like child's pose, you know, like where you're like kneeling on your shins and you're, you're just like sitting like like laying over your, like you're sitting like in a squat. No but, like laying over like this. Yeah. yeah. And I literally, because I was like, oh, I can close my eyes for a few minutes and I won't, you know, whatever. I passed out. And when I woke up, I couldn't feel my legs from my oh. waist down. And oh, so I was like in a rush. In I fell asleep in the pose. Yeah. And I was like <laughs> crawling around my room like a, like the army soldier, you know, like. Oh um, my God. And I was like trying to like grab out things, that, you know, and like the, the tingles, like I couldn't even stand up. I, I it was horrible. <laughs> have anybody, has anybody here ever suffered from sciatica? Do you ever get sciatica? I have it. Yeah. You have I it? I have it. I'll have to I show you it. the video how I got it. I had surgery. I fell off a bike yeah, first into a curb. Yeah. I got sciatica. I don't know what the hell I was doing to get it. I think I, I was doing the MMA wrestling stuff, but um, I got sciatica so bad that mm -hmm. I literally couldn't, couldn't walk. I was like stuck in my bed. Yeah. Oh. That's bad. I remember, I remember like when I was younger, when, when people had sciatica. We've got to wrap it up quick. Um, but when, you know, when I was younger, when, people, when I used to hear people have sciatica, I was like, oh, it's like an old, old person's thing, you know? Mm -hmm. But I was like, I wasn't old. People think you have hemorrhoids because you can't sit down. Yeah, true. Yeah. It hurts on your ass note, to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, I'm going to start wrapping up the show. Uh, www.madhousetv.com. Uh, the Stupid Show is on every Monday from 8 to 9. Start tuning in. We're going to have some funny stuff. Uh, we got Jerry G in the house. He's going to be on the show for uh, for next week. Yes. And More voices to come. Stuff. Consuelo, you're going to be back next week? I'll be back next week. Awesome. Yeah. So we have Consuelo be back next week. We've got, got uh, Greg.
Graham Wellington, you may come back. Are you not sure? We'll see. My no schedule. boat accidents. You know my schedule. Come by and rip some uh, uh, Silent But Deadlies yeah, in here. I'll and then have a couple of that second burritos mic. before I come up. Good. Perfect. We should all do that, actually. Yeah. It it's going to be... be an asshole orchestra. Let's go. We'll have a farting contest on the awesome. show. Why not? Who cares? No, no, Who's no, got the sure. loudest anal trumpet, trumpet, you know? There you go. Exactly. Um, all right, so... Next week, uh, next week's show is going to be good. Um, we're going to have some special guests on the show. We're going to have some great videos to go to. Um, any call-ins or suggestions, you know, g uh, give us a call and let us know. And uh, we'll see you next week. All right? Bye. Thanks for tuning in.